And we're heading down the stretch in high school spring seasons. Thanks for joining us tonight on the rally. Sometimes the spirit of a team and a community come to the forefront in the tough times. Yeah, indeed. Howard Lake Waverly had never won a section title or qualified for a state and true team track. They got there this year after one of their star runners almost lost his life. Yeah, Gavin Kritzik just got his driver's license this year. What happened this spring defined a season and changed a family. Gavin Kritzik had figured it out. A sophomore sprinter on the Howard Lake Waverly track team and a key cog in the lineup. He contributed a bunch as a freshman to our team and then as a sophomore, he spent basically all winter in the, in the weight room, getting better, getting stronger. But this team had to learn how to deal without that teammate. The sheriff showed up at our house and it just turned my life upside down. He had rolled his car on a gravel road. No drinking, no texting, just excessive speed. I just remember the airbag going off and then laying upside down in my car and being airlifted to the hospital. His teammates were forced to deal with real life and it was scary. It was hard, you know. It's never easy to see stuff like that, but, you know, it's just tough on everyone around here. A team in shock, they had never won a section title in school history, and now without one of their top runners, they rallied, inspired to do it for him. A bunch of kids, they'd come over to me after, they said a personal best by feet or cut 10 seconds off a two mile. And they'd be like, that was for Gavin. They wore orange shirts and they committed to a cause that would honor their teammate. He was probably a bigger part of the team after his accident. He brought us all together and he was probably the main reason we won true team. But that's not where this story ends. See, Gavin is lucky to be alive and he's learned how lucky he is to have friends that care a lot. I don't know if you can put it into words. We're very, I mean, they're just remarkable. After not being able to feel his legs initially, he is walking and he is struggling. It just kills me to see him like this, especially when I know that he loves sports and he wants to be out there and being active and he can't do that right now. It has made for some moments. The morning after the accident was Mother's Day, and his status was still in doubt. But it was an unforgettable Mother's Day. He said, Mom, and I said, what? And he, and he said, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> That's what this story turned into, about a tragic event and the resiliency and goodness that has followed. It just means so much to that they all have my back and I can, I can count on them to be there for me when I need them. Tomorrow they will run in that first ever state track meet. Gavin hopes to be there, where his teammates can tell him. Tell him that we're all still praying for him and hoping the best for him. The road is long, but it's paved with hope because it's paved with people who care. And a family that understands how fragile life is and how great human nature can be. People we don't barely even know, they've, they've just been Super. I, I don't even know how to thank them. <laughs> so the world can be a pretty good place. Yeah, a very good place. Mm, tough story. The goal is for Gavin to be able to leave the hospital for a while and cheer on his team at the state meet tomorrow. You go, Gavin. Yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm.